And in this particular video, we've got an interesting circle problem. So what we want to do is find the area of this circle. But the information that we have is that we have this arc, and an arc is just basically a measurement or a length of some portion of the circle. So uh, in this particular case, it starts at 23 degrees, this arc, and it goes to 194 degrees. So from here to here, that arc length is approximately 34 millimeters. So with all this information right here, we want to find the area. So if you think you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then of course, I'm gonna solve this uh, problem step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out in some small way, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem right now. All right, so we're obviously gonna to need to know some formulas, some things about uh, a circle, but I kind of explained to you again what an arc is. So an arc or the arc length, to be uh, more precise. Technically speaking, I should have put arc length, but I kind of said that out loud here. So here's the arc or the arc length from here to here is 34 uh, millimeters. Ar an arc is actually the measurement, okay? So here, if I, uh, subtract uh, 194 from 23 degrees, 194 degrees minus uh, 23 degrees, that's 171 degree arc. Okay, so technically that is the way you would want to write that. So really we're talking about arc length here is approximately 34 uh, millimeters. But I guess what I was trying to say is that this arc here of 171 degrees right there is approximately 34 millimeters in a length. So that's all we want. Uh, we know now based upon that, what do you think that we should, um, you know, be looking to do here? Okay. Well, what you want to be uh, thinking about is the formulas, you know, for a circle. Now, there is a ton of formulas and in formulas in geometry and mathematics and algebra, et cetera, but some of these should go into your long-term memory. Others, you know, just put them in your notes and reference them when you need them, but circles and circle formulas, you know, these are things that you should have in your long-term memory. So some of the formulas you're gonna to need to know is the circumference, which is two pi r, or the diameter times pi. So hopefully you understand this particular formula we're also going to need to know the area of a circle formula, which is pi r squared. Okay, so these are the two formulas that you're going to need to know. Now, um, I'm not going to show you the rest of the problem, but let's let's suppose that you were like, oh, if I only remembered those formulas, I could solve this problem. Well, these are the two formulas that I'm going to use to solve this uh, problem. So go ahead and uh, pick up the problem, you know, uh, from where you know I left off. Of course, I'm going to continue it, but if we look at this, if these two formulas, if we look at these two formulas, what's, um, what do they have in common? Well, to find the area of a circle, I'm going to need to get the radius, okay? So the radius of a circle is what? Well, here is a circle. The width of a circle is called the diameter, but if we start from the center and we just go out half of the diameter, that is the radius. So the radius, you know, of course, these are all basic circle terms that hopefully you understand, but we're gonna need to get that radius. So how can we get that radius? Well, we're gonna have to use the circumference. So let's go ahead and see how we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so we know from here to here, we know that length, but if we knew the entire length around the circle, that would in fact be the circumference. So we can do actually do this by setting up a nice, lovely uh, proportion. So here's how it goes. So we know that 34 millimeters is to 171 degrees. So how do we know that? Well, we start from 23 degrees here and we go to 194, that's 171 uh, degrees. So we covered 34 millimeters and 171 degrees. So what we wanna know is how many millimeters or what's the length when we cover 360 degrees. So this is one approach you could take by setting up a basic proportion. And of course, 360 degrees is the circumference of a circle. So to solve for X, we simply just need to use the cross product, just cross multiply talking about basic algebra here and obviously we're doing geometry but there is you know algebra involved in geometry by the way if you're confused with any of this stuff 
I would suggest um, any one of my courses. Uh, if you wanted to have some algebra and geometry together, I would check out like my pre-algebra course. But again, if you're in a full-on geometry course, then I have that as well. Okay, so here we have x times 171. We're just using a cross product here. That's going to be 171 times x and then 34 times 360. Uh, we'll just drop the units of measure because we know that we're looking for millimeters. Okay, remember when you're setting up a proportion, make sure your units of measure are in the same location in terms of your fractions here. So millimeters and mil uh, millimeters are in the numerators, degrees are in, uh, in the denominator. Again, if you're like confused, if you're like, I don't get anything that's going on here, well, you need to brush up on your basic algebra skills. No problem. Any, there's nothing here that you can't learn. It's just, you know, really about your, um, you know, commitment to want to learn. Okay. So the thing about it is this, uh, you need to work at math to get better at it. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. So when we uh, use the cross, cross product again, x times 171, that's 171x, 171 uh, 34 times 360, there you go. 34 times 360, so 34 times 360 is 12,240. So to solve for x here, I just need to divide both sides of the equation by 171, and feel free to use your calculator. So x is going to be equal to uh, 12,240 divided by 171, and that's approximately 71.57. But what does that mean, 71.57 what? Well, that's millimeters, right? Because that's what we were solving for. So the entire length around the circle, okay, i.e. 360 degrees around the circle, is in fact 71.57 or approximately 71.57 uh, 71.57 millimeters okay so 360 degrees that's one uh, lap around the circle and by definition that is the circumference so now we know the circumference of this circle okay so i kind of told you uh, a few minutes ago that if we um, knew the circumference, we can figure out what the radius is because we're gonna need the radius to figure out the area. So let's go ahead and take this to the next step. So basically, now before I finish this problem, take a quick second and consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. And the whole reason I want my channel to grow on YouTube is so I can reach as many people as possible and help them in mathematics. I look at every person that uh, has subscribed. Now, by the way, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But if you do subscribe to my channel, I consider all of you like students of mine. So I really try to be conscientious and post high quality math content. And my channel covers everything from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Now, if you need math support, if you really need to learn mathematics, you definitely have to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you are going to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get alerts when I post a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. At this point, we're just trying to find the area of a circle uh, with the circumference of 71.57 millimeters. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this right now. So uh, before we find the area, we're going to need that radius. So we're gonna have to use that circumference information. So that, again, the circumference is equal to two pi r. Okay, we're looking for r, we wanna solve for r. We know the circumference, that's 71.57, so we'll put that there. And then two times pi, so that's two times pi, and we're solving for r. So to solve for r, we just simply need to divide both sides of the equation by 2 pi. Okay, so this is what r is equal to, but we don't want to work with pi as in this particular uh, way, okay, because we want to get an estimation here. So remember, pi is approximately 3.1, whoops, 3.14. Now this decimal goes out to infinity. It's a non-repeating and non-terminating decimal. This is something what we call an irrational number. Okay, so you can never, it's impossible to write uh, all the digits of, of pi. But what you can do, the more um, digits of pi that you use, the more accurate uh, your final answer is going to be. But it's never going to be perfect. If you want a perfect exact answer, you actually have to leave that pi in there. But that's, again, another discussion. So that's why 
we want to use that approximation symbol that is more correct mathematically versus a, a totally equal to symbol. Okay, so you should be familiar, familiar with that. So in this case, I'm just going to use a basic estimation of pi, which is 3.14. You should never lose, use anything less than 3.14 as an approximation. 22 sevenths as a fraction is also a good uh, basic approximation for pi, but you can bring up pi in your calculator as well, get all those extra digits uh, if you wanna make your uh, answer uh, more accurate. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on here and we'll uh, substitute uh, this pi here with 3.14. So now we have to figure out 71.57 times two times 3.14, which of course is pi, that's 6.28. So when we divide these two numbers, we get approximately 11.39. But what did we just solve for? Well, that's the radius, and we're talking about lengths, so that is millimeters. Okay, so now we have a radius, and now to finish this problem is going to be fairly direct. So here, again, is the uh, formula for area of a circle. There is R, that's what we need, and we solve for R, so R, or the radius, is approximately 11.39 millimeters. Let's go and plug that in and square that. So pi r squared. So remember, you got to do, you got to follow the order of operations problem. This is a very common mistake for a lot of students. They'll take pi and they'll multiply by this. But remember, you got to do powers first and then multiply by pi. So 11.39 squared is 129.73. And then, of course, we'll uh, use that 3.14 rough approximation for pi. Uh, so that we'll just multiply pi by. 11.39 uh, squared, and here is our final approximate answer. Of course, um, this answer could be much more accurate if I used uh, throughout this problem a more, um, you know, more digits of pi. But again, your final answer should be somewhere around this neck of the woods. And remember, we're looking for area, so we're dealing with millimeters as our length. So our area is millimeters squared. Do not forget units of measure. Okay, math teachers, science teachers, they will take points off. You know, they might give you like a minus two and give you like eight out of 10 on a test if you don't put in the units of measure. And you might be like, hey, what are you talking about? That's so unfair. What do you, no, listen, you, the area is units of measured squared. Okay, so anytime you're dealing with area, volume, uh, length, distance, and whatnot, you gotta be very aware of the units of measure uh, that you're dealing with. Okay, so hopefully this little problem was a good exercise in basic geometry and algebra. And if you enjoyed it to some small degree, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.